Welcome to TacosTheGeeks.com. Justin here today back with another comic book review. Today I am excited to be reviewing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Running number three. As always, I give you a brief synopsis, so here we go. Unexpected allies from the past reveal a possible path to salvation. As the Foot Clan sweeps New York City from the rogue Ronin, a de final desperate plan in the name of vengeance is made. Spanning decades, this issue's actions intrigue will set up the astounding final issues. And we got to give another round of applause for this brilliant, brilliant issue. This has been, like I said in previous reviews, this has been my favorite comic book of the past year. And just once again, giving us a much more darker take, a more intrigued take, and a more serious grounded Mikey, definitely because of the situation that's been happening. And what issue three does is really just setting the building blocks for what is going to be one hell of a final issues right here. We have April finally explaining how she survived. We find out what happens to Leo with the explosion. Casey, we get to see everybody's fate in this, and it's very gut wrenching. It's heartbreaking just to know that the, they had this idea that the Foot Clan was actually going to go through with this troops, only to be backstabbed with the mastermind of Baxter Stockman, who's just been obsessed with obtaining this certain robot. And that's all, all, all I'm going to go into spoiler territory with that. It is a great issue, some really great dialogue, beautiful artwork. And I think what really works here is that. They do time jump from time to time, but it is written and framed in such a way where you're reading from what happens in the past, and then when it goes back to the present, it seems seamlessly. It's done with great exposition while doing while, while being able to show and tell at the same time, and whisper some really gut-wrenching moments, too. Especially April has some really great gut-wrenching moments, just reading how she survived and being able and finding out that she had to go through rehab, you know, physical rehab and also birthing Casey, you know, her daughter. It was such a great um, issue here. And I really love the artwork and it's the aesthetics. And one thing I really do like is that we do get to see a little bit more of Shredder's grandson and Karai's son. He has, you can tell he has this chip on his shoulders to really just keep Roku Saki's, legacy going and the clan going and he's stopping at nothing we get to actually see what happens more to karai what stasis she, that she's in so we do get motivation from both the turtle side and the uh, foot clan side and both motivations you can I'm not saying you side with oroki but you kind of get and understand where he's coming from and it's just kind of like that chip of the shoulder of i had to keep this pressure of my the pressures of living up to expectations of this great dynasty that I am been a part of with my family. And we get to really do get to see a little bit of those layers in there. But overall, it is such a brilliant read, emotional read, especially when you see the final moments of Leo and Casey and what happens to them. It is just badassery on the way. The action is good as well. Just the way these turtles are going at it. It's, this is full-blown war. And I, for me, as a turtle fan, I love to see things like this when they get taken seriously. And that's, once again, shout out to the way they actually in incorporate some of the past events with the original artwork type of style of the original Ninja Turtles. This is, like I keep saying in my previous reviews, this is a true love letter to any Turtles fan. I had a blast reading this. If you haven't picked up the first three issues, this is something you have to pick up. I am so ready to see this either in live action or better yet in an animation. And just really give us to see this nice, grounded, grizzled, depressing Michelangelo. But also now a Mikey at the end of the issues kind of has kind of hope and April is MVP. And let's give it a round of applause for April real quick. April is truly MVP here. Not only just really building up this, this this resistance, but Casey Marie, her daughter, you could tell she is definitely like a lot like April and a lot like Casey in a lot of ways. She definitely embodies her parents and definitely one of my new favorite characters. I love Casey Marie, but April is MVP by just holding the damn thing down the resistance and everything she has been planning for this moment 
and I can't can't wait to see what role they have for April going into this. I am going to give this another five out of five stars. I am might be a little bit biased because I'm a huge turtle fan, but just the story itself, it just keeps gripping and the way to use the exposition, the artwork, the dialogue, the action. This is the definitive turtle story I've been waiting for. I love it. Definitely check this one out. And that is my review. And for those who like letters, it's an A plus five stars. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You can follow us on Instagram and at Tacos and Geeks, Facebook at Tacos and Geeks blog, and of course, most importantly, visit tacosandgeeks.com. This is Justin saying, later days, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.